civil rights, and the black power movement. This is the second and final video of our civil rights unit. We will take a look at the successes and consequences of the civil rights movement and the black power movement. Civil rights legislation. Resistance to integration and the surge of violence in the South convinced Congress to pass the Civil Rights Act of 1957, the first civil rights legislation since Reconstruction. This law made it a federal crime to interfere with the rights of voters and created the Civil Rights Commission, which led to the formation of a civil rights division in the Justice Department. Three years later, the Civil Rights Act of 1960 was passed to strengthen the powers of that commission and the Justice Department to investigate and deal with cases of black voter suppression. Unfortunately, both these acts proved ineffective. In 1961, John F. Kennedy became president and even though he had campaigned for African-American support, once in office, he was hesitant to push for civil rights. He was afraid to lose support from Southern Democrats. As violence escalated in the South, Kennedy became more open of his support for civil rights and proposed a constitutional amendment to ban poll taxes which had been widely used to suppress black voters in the South. In 1963, Kennedy also proposed a civil rights bill to ban racial discrimination in public places and to increase federal powers over school integration. The bill failed to gather support in Congress and didn't pass. In November 1963, President Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, Texas, bringing his presidency to a tragic end. Upon Kennedy's death, Lyndon B. Johnson became president. Johnson pushed Kennedy's civil rights bill through Congress as a tribute to the former president. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 outlawed discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, and national origin. The act also prohibited unequal application of voter registration requirements, racial segregation in schools and public facilities, and employment discrimination. As a liberal Southern Democrat, Johnson took special pride in this law that remains to this day one of the greatest legislative achievements in American history. The Struggle for Voting Rights After Reconstruction, African Americans in the South were systematically stripped of their right to vote using poll taxes, literacy tests, violence, and intimidation. All of this despite the 15th Amendment provisions guaranteeing their right to vote. For many years, the NAACP attempted to legally challenge voter suppression in the South and to register African American voters with little success. In 1964, the 24th Amendment was ratified, prohibiting states from denying voting rights to their citizens on the basis of poll taxes or any other tax. The Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, CNCC, joined with CORE, the NAACP, and the Southern Christian Leadership Council, SCLC, to plan a campaign to register black voters. The summer of 1964 was memorable for its social activism and became known as Freedom Summer. White and black college students from across the country traveled to Mississippi to register African-American voters. The country was shaken when three of the volunteers, two white Jewish students from New York and the black student from Mississippi, were arrested 
and disappeared after being released in the middle of the night to a crowd of Ku Klux Klan members. Many other civil rights leaders were beaten and arrested, while many black homes and churches were bombed. The FBI was sent to investigate these cases, uncovering a trail of crimes and violence perpetrated by Klan members. In December 1964, Dr. King won the Nobel Peace Prize, and four months later, he had led the famous march from Selma to Montgomery as part of the movement for voting rights. The march had been interrupted twice before by police violence, and only in the third attempt were they able to reach the Alabama state capitol thanks to federal protection. The American public was outraged after watching on television the nonviolent protesters being clubbed and tear gassed during the march. President Johnson immediately summoned a joint session of Congress and proposed a voting rights bill. The Voting Rights Act of 1965 finally led to an increase in the number of African American voters and African Americans in public office. The act prohibited states from using literacy tests or poll taxes to deny African Americans the right to vote and appointed special federal examiners to register voters. Affirmative Action, 1965 In 1965, President Johnson issued an executive order requiring employers and institutions with federal contracts to raise the number of minority and female employees. This measure, known as affirmative action, led to an increase in the number of women and minorities in universities and in many professions. Minority-owned businesses also benefited from greater access to government contracts. Johnson also named the first African-American member of the cabinet, Robert Weaver, and the first African-American justice to the Supreme Court, Thurgood Marshall, the former NAACP attorney from the Brown case. In 1978, affirmative action was challenged in the Supreme Court with the case Regents of the University of California versus Bakke. Alan Bakke's application for admission to Davis Medical School at the University of California had already been rejected twice. Despite an excellent record, service in Vietnam, and previous work experience at NASA, Bakke sued the university on the grounds that many minority students had been admitted under special race programs, despite having lower grades than him. The Supreme Court decided that schools can take into consideration the race of their students to promote greater diversity, but they cannot set aside quotas or a fixed number of places for candidates of a particular race or ethnic background. The court ordered the Davis Medical School to admit Bakke. The Black Power Movement Despite the successes of the Civil Rights Movement, many young African Americans believed that the goals of the Civil Rights Movement had been too limited and that Dr. King's nonviolent approach had been slow and ineffective. At the end of the 1960s, the civil rights movement splintered and a more militant black power movement emerged with new goals and direction. Leaders of the black power movement wanted to take control of their own communities, fight racism directly, and avoid dependence on whites. The movement took pride in African history and culture and had ample influence from the independence movements of African nations. In 1965, a riot broke out in the Watts neighborhood in Los Angeles, and for the next three years, a series of riots took place, mostly in northern cities. In 1968, Dr. King was assassinated 
by a white supremacist in Memphis, Tennessee, leading to an intensification of the riots. A presidential commission investigated the reasons for the unrest and concluded that urban poverty, caused by job and housing discrimination, was at the root of the problem. The Civil Rights Act of 1968, also known as the Fair Housing Act, sought to remedy these social and economic problems by prohibiting discrimination in housing. The Nation of Islam The Nation of Islam, a social and religious organization led by Elijah Muhammad, believed that Islam should be the religion of African Americans and that they should form their own separate state. Malcolm X joined the Nation of Islam after a spiritual rebirth while he was in jail. He dropped his last name to assert his identity, since his family name had been given to his ancestors by former slave owners. Malcolm X believed that cooperation with whites was impossible and that violence should be answered with violence. He also advocated for black nationalism and self-government, and was a fervent critic of Dr. King's non-violence philosophy. In 1964, Malcolm declared his intention to break with the Nation of Islam and work with more moderate civil rights leaders. The following year, he was assassinated by gunfire and three members of the Nation of Islam were convicted for his murder. Stokely Carmichael Stokely Carmichael was a Howard University student and one of the founders of Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, which had helped to organize the early sit-ins, the Freedom Rides, and the Freedom Summer. Carmichael introduced the term Black Power at a rally, which he defined as a call for Black people to unite and recognize their heritage. Carmichael was greatly influenced by Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X. Originally, Carmichael believed in non-violence, but as he became the organization's leader in 1967, he became radicalized in favor of separatism and the use of violence to fight racism. The SNCC expelled its white members and broke with Dr. King and other civil rights leaders calling for integration and nonviolence. The Black Panthers In 1966, the Black Panthers was formed by Bobby Seale and Huey Newton to patrol and protect black neighborhoods in Oakland, California. The Panthers called for the arming of African Americans. They also implemented important social programs and published their own newspaper. They created a 10-point program of radical demands, which included self-determination for black people, access to basic needs and opportunity, cultural rights, and an end to injustice and discrimination. The Legacies of Black Power and civil rights. Black power took different meaning to different people, from calls to violent revolution to black capitalism, as well as a profound pride and greater appreciation for African American culture. There were conscious efforts to remove racist stereotypes and offensive language from popular culture. The Afro hairstyle became a popular expression of identity. By the late 1960s, the United States was a completely different society because of the civil rights and black power movements. The efforts of African Americans served an inspiration for women, ethnic and religious minorities, Native Americans, people with disabilities, and younger Americans in their struggles to create a more pluralistic society. Thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe for more videos.